Hello everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Felix the Reaper. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay, so this is a branch. A branch. I'm branching out to try something different. And what I mean by that is I'm doing a video game character. I know, I know. I do video game characters all the time, right? It's not that big a deal. But this isn't Fortnite. You know, this is this is a, a different game. Now, the reason I'm doing this game is because I recently came across this game and started playing it and had real fun with it. It is a more mature game. It's a rated T for teen, so maybe not everybody can play it. But I just wanted to point it out because it's on sale right now. So in the uh, Nintendo Switch uh, store, you can get this for $2.49. Now, that is today as of, uh, today would be, by the time this airs, it's gonna be October 27th. So as far as that goes, it's uh, it's on sale. So, I mean, for $2.49, it's a, it's, it's, okay, so it's a beautiful game. Uh, it's a, it is a puzzle game, and I, I'm all about the puzzle games, too. Sure, play Fortnite, sure, I do all the other stuff, stuff, but I love a good puzzle game, you know, trying to solve what goes where and how it does this and what you gotta move. So, if you're not into puzzle games, you know, then you might want to pass. But again, it's $2.49 can't beat that you know um but uh, but it's a beautiful beautiful game and that's really what i like I, i'm not gonna lie if if it's a if it's a beautiful game i'm all about it uh maybe i should start talking about more of the games i play um to to talk about some of these these really good ones but again if you if you can make a a good visual i'm there i'm all in you know um so yeah, so that was kind of the whole idea behind this, is like, I, I love the beauty of it, the color. It just looks so, so, so good. And and it's just fun. Yeah, again, I'm not gonna lie, it is super challenging. There's a couple times where I had to walk away. I'm like, this is stupid. I don't like this. I can't do it, <laughs> you know? But that's, that's how life is, you know? It's not always gonna work out, and you just gotta, you know, breathe, relax, walk away, come back, try it again, you know? But that's how all of them are. That's how uh, that's how Fortnite is. You know, all those games. You, you, that's how drawing is. You know, you, you're not going to get it right away. It's about practice. It's about doing it over and over again. If you're happy, you know, don't do something if you're not happy. If you don't like it, if it's too challenging, don't do it. You know, don't don't put yourself through that that trouble. But um, if if you you know enjoy it, you're having a good time, then uh, you know by all means try it again and and get better at it that's really what it comes down to now you know obviously it is stylized and it looks a certain way and he doesn't look like how I'm drawing but you know that's what this channel is it's how I draw so I'm gonna make him look like a skull that I would draw because that's again that's what this whole thing is about it's about what I would do because what's what is this this is how I draw okay so but I am gonna give him his you know the line going down his face all that kind of fun stuff I'm gonna try to give it the uh, the look and the feel of, of Felix from the comic the comic from the video game you know but but a little bit more skull-like, a little more, I don't want to say monster, but I mean, he is the Grim Reaper, you know? So I am going to make it a little, a little scary, a little spooky. That may be a little too spooky for some people, but it's, it's Halloween season. I figure now's a good time to get this done too, you know? Not only is it on sale, but it's, it's, it's Halloween. So let's, let's 
let's do a little bit more Halloween stuff, you know? Um, yeah, I think that's gonna work. But again, I just I just love the look of it, like the, the background, all that stuff. It's beautiful, it's so nice to look at. And uh, like I said, that, that's why I'm so obsessed with this game. And again, we'll talk about, more about other games later. I'm not gonna worry about those right now. Someone even suggested I should do a, a video game playing channel. You know, maybe a Twitch or something like that. I don't know, maybe, I'll, I'll think about it. But this is mostly about, about teaching you how to draw or just drawing with you, not even teaching you, just showing you how I draw and hopefully you learn something from it, you know? Maybe we'll do video games later, but right now, it's kind of my my uh, my therapy time. It's my I can I can just relax and draw. Or I'm sorry, relax and play video games and and uh, wind down the night. Cause that's usually what I do at the end of the night. That's when I play. And then maybe maybe I'll I'll get more into playing with other people uh, as we go. And then I'll I'll play around and share all my my. Uh, my Fortnite name. Well, I mean, I mean, honestly, my Fortnite name, how I draw, you know, that's exactly what it is. But, uh, you know, when, when I'm on is very, very varied. Very varied is what I was trying to say. Okay, I think I'm good with that. You know, kind of, kind of in a, like a dancing pose. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's erase some of these sketch lines. And we'll get going. A lot of it worked out though with the sketch, so I don't have to erase too much. But just enough to make the lines disappear and like my sh let my Sharpie stand out. But the sketch worked pretty well, especially down here on the legs. I don't want to make it all disappear. Okay, I think that's going to work. That looks pretty good to me. I say we welcome all the skippers and get going. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly a fine point, but a pen's a little finer than a fine point. You can find things that a fine point can't quite find. All right. <laughs> I sketched the entire thing out. I've raised the majority of the sketch lines and left enough for me to see what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to join in with the Sharpie fine, sorry, the Sharpie pen, add some of the, the finer details. And then uh, we'll jump in with the Sharpie Fine Point to really accent them. So I talked about this in a sketch that this is my style. Uh, I love this game and you should go back to the sketch and see what I'm talking about that. This game's on sale right now as of October 27th where this is being posted. You can actually buy this game for $2.49 on the Nintendo Switch website. It's crazy, right? But uh, it's, a, it's a puzzle game, and it's not for everybody, but if you enjoy that kind of stuff, it's a beautiful, beautiful game, and I'm in love with it. So uh, this is why I wanted to do it, but my style, how I draw. So I'm gonna start with the, the, the face, or the skull, and I'm gonna go ahead and just do like an offset eye off like this. So it's kind of along the Felix theme, but also my style, you know? And before I do anything else, I'm going to draw the line straight straight down the middle for his uh, the line in his face, only because I want it open like this, and I don't want to draw through it. Okay, so now the rest of my sketch can go around that, basically. I'm going to have to close this off, but we'll see. We'll see when I get there. So for his nose, I'm going to do something like this. And so also I was talking about that this is going to be a little more a little more scarier of a skull, a little more real. Because I always do more of a real style than uh, the animated style or the cartoon style or whatever it is I'm doing. I always make it look like it's a real thing, like almost like it's a costume. That's really what I like going for. So, you know, he doesn't have any teeth in the game, but again, I'm doing it more my style. Okay, but also I said, you know, it's kind of Halloween-ish too, so it kind of works out that we're gonna make him a little, a little scarier, a little, uh, a little 
more real. skull kind of look to it, you know? Okay, so his jaw is going to come over here. Going to come up and do this. Same thing over here. Now I like to thicken up the outer edges too because when I switch over to this Sharpie, you're going to see a huge difference in line width. So I'm kind of preparing for how that's going to be. So you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Just explain to you why I'm doing it. But ultimately, because that's how I draw, right? All right, not too bad, not too bad. I'm still going to continue with this just to control the line width a little bit better on uh, on the rest of his head. Then I'm going to switch over. But for now, just bear with me. And also, I'll talk about this while I'm doing it. Is that, is that uh, it's the game is very uh, it's a puzzle game, so it's not for everybody. If you like puzzle games you'll like it, but if you don't, then it's not for you. Because I love those kind of things, very, very uh, uh, thinking games where you have to figure out, okay, if I'm gonna move this here, I can move that there, and then this will only let me move this here. It's one of those kind of games, it's a puzzle strategy game. Um, but uh, I like doing the skull lines like that too. Um, so, like I said, it may not be for everybody, but also the reason I was bringing it up is because, as of right now, it's on sale. It's only $2.49, so even if you don't like puzzle games, I mean, you can, and you can spare $2.49, go for it, you know? And, and, and support a creator, and oh, I love independent games too, that's the other thing. It's an indie game, you know? It's not one of the big companies, and, and I love that so much, so I really, uh, I like I like supporting the little guys, you know. Uh, let me double check a few things on his headphones. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so there's like a little like like ghosty little ear thing over like this, and then it goes up a little. Like that. Um, and then there's, there's the headphones. Something like this. And then the top part where it's connected, so. I'm just gonna draw it over like that. And that's okay if it's not perfect. It's all right, it's not that big a deal, you know? But again, that's why I'm using this small Sharpie because I can control the line width much better. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about his headphones yet, I think. Oh, you know what, his headphones go into his shirt, right? It looks like it. Sorry, I'm looking at pictures online of, uh, of the game. Okay, so, looks good to me. So let's draw, I'm gonna switch over to the big Sharpie now for the bigger points, okay? So I'm gonna draw his, his shirt collar Coming down like this. But uh, yeah, but I was talking about how I love this game, how it's just it's just uh, stylized, it's so beautiful, and uh, I just wanted to do something different. And, uh, and a compliment, I guess the creators by drawing it in my style. There we go, awesome. Okay, so let's see. I gotta draw his vest. So we're gonna, I've got his arms kind of raised up so that means it's, it's kind of shortening the space of his shoulders because they're raised up. And as you raise your arms, your shoulders gotta go someplace so they, they, uh, they kind of bump up. Okay. So that means I'm gonna have him going like this. And there's his side, okay? Same thing here, come out like that. And then his side's gonna come out here, but I'm not worried about that yet. Let's worry about his arms and then we'll then we'll uh, draw the rest. 
But see how thick this is? That's why I was trying to match this, just to kind of keep it as, as one feel, you know, one thickness. And then with these headphones and stuff like that, it's okay. I'm okay with those being thinner. But I was trying to make it all complete into one piece. All right, so I've got his arm raised up over his hand. He's kind of dancing. You know, that's kind of the whole thing for Felix. He's, he's a dancer. So I've got the arm raised. Gonna crinkle up the material there. Now to his elbow. We're gonna go ahead and raise the, or draw the, the edge like this. Here's his cuff. That. And I've got his hand kind of over his head, and it's just basically like this, but you're looking at it from from uh, uh, the back like that. So it's just gonna be a flat piece like this. So I'm not too worried about uh, details. We're just going to draw the pinky up like that. And the other thing about this too is that uh, he he doesn't have fingers or feet or you know they're they're tiny little little points. And it's because of the, the style of the game or the style of the, the design. So there's only so much we can do. And that's really all I'm gonna do right there. So let's do a little bit more for the middle finger, but see how they kind of blob together. Once you get the Sharpies like this, they, they all kind of blend in. So there's not too much I can do anyway. It would do like that, okay? All right, so let's add some creases and folds because uh, the way his arm is bent. It's just wrinkling up his material right here. And you know I like to draw creases and folds anyway, so it's a good excuse to, to uh, add some extra character to the character, you know? So something like that, just to kind of just to kind of wrinkle it all up, you know? Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing with this arm, we're gonna stick it out. So, same thing, I'm gonna wrinkle it all up for his shoulder here. Draw his forearm to his cuff. All right, so again, wrinkles. Gonna wrinkle up his shirt. Okay, so this hand, I've got, uh, you can see the fingers out like this. So we're gonna, we're gonna draw like we did there, but it's gonna kinda come down, cause he's, he's, he's uh, in, the, in the groove, basically. Okay, so I'm gonna draw his thumb, like this. There's the back of his hand. I'm gonna draw his finger, like this a little extended kind of exaggerated out like that kind of I can't even bend my finger like that the way I've, I've extended it but again just kind of exaggerated exaggerated uh, uh, flick of the fingers okay we'll do this pinky down so oops a little more boxy than I was expecting so there something like that Again, see, sometimes the, the, the Sharpies bleed out when doing such tiny little details, which is why I like using a pen for certain things, because you're going to lose some detail here. So something like that. Again, it's, it's all just, uh, just extended fingers. But also more than the actual drawing, like he doesn't have any in the game, you know? So we get to do whatever we want. All right, so now we're just drawing this suit. Let me just double check on that real fast. It looks like it's all one piece. I mean, it's not one piece, but the design of it is uh, like a piece. But let me let me put his, his yeah, his little, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Walkman, his little music maker. Something like this. just because I don't want to draw through it. I want to make sure it's on his hip. And I can add a little bit of detail just to kind of show something. Like it's, 
specifically designed, you know. And uh, he does have headphones, or, or he does have wires, and so, like I said, I can draw them now because they go into his collar, and then it connects somehow onto his his uh, Walkman. So I'm just gonna say like it goes through his shirt, and we're gonna say it comes down, and, and they don't really connect it in the game. I don't see a picture where it's connected to it. It's just on his side. But again, that's that's stuff you can't really do in a game, right? It's it's a little too too. Uh, detailed if you if you skip that kind of stuff you can get more render power you know okay so we're gonna draw his suit and it's just out this way <laughs> every time I sharpen screams at me like that I always feel bad I'm gonna draw a little suit like that like it's a uh, a vest okay so now I can draw his pants and so I've just got them extended out like this. He's a thicker fellow, so you know we're drawing a wider middle. But we're still drawing some shape into his legs. Look at that. Okay. And uh, let's add some just a little bit of detail. There's no detail in in uh, in the design again it helps you know less render time if you got less detail but uh, you know we, we can add a little something I mean I mean look what we did for the face you know obviously we're gonna do whatever we want you know uh, for the pants I'm just gonna do a little bit of a oops kind of cut through like that a little bit of a um, crease in the pants right there just from where his, his legs bent not too much because again he's so flowing that he doesn't have a lot of bend right there a lot of times I do a lot of creases in the in the in the hips but he's he's so you know stretched out that you don't have to do it this time Again, he doesn't have feet either. That's the other thing. Is he's very, uh, very minimalistic, you know. So we're gonna give him just like regular old feet. We're gonna bring it down here. We've got him on his toes, kind of a, a ballerina style, you know, something like that. We'll do this one over here. Then I'll add a little bit extra detail. This one I got pointed out, something like that, you know in that dancing pose and let's add like a it, it in the in the sketch I found I did happen to find online like a little uh, character sketch and it does show some kind of like spat like a, like they call them galoshes but they look like spats so basically this kind of thing and then the front that so here again same thing going over like this and there we go so there you go I say we take care of the rest with color so that is Felix the Reaper so here's how I colored it tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our discord group just have fun and make it your own because remember this is how I draw you draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures with How I Draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.